Um, like I said yesterday, uh, my, my biggest plan to, of attack was to, to, to drive the ball down through the zone and, and try to keep, keep it from, uh, keep the ball from kind of getting ladder, laterally, uh, just to keep the ball, you know, down this way through the bottom of the zone. And I thought I threw a lot of good fastballs at the bottom of the zone that had um, late light with, with action going down and, and not, you know, not sideways. It seemed like you relied heavily on that two-seamer and the curveball as well. Was that part of the game plan as well to kind of simplify things a little bit? I think so. I think sometimes when when things start escalating and things start kind of maybe um, swirling around and you're going through some things, I think it's important to to get back to to your strengths. And I've always my two-seam and my curveball has always been something that. I've been able to to rely on um, throughout my career, I mean, going back to, to college and, and 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 everything. So I think to simplify and and, and simplify things and use your strength and, and go back to your strengths and that's that's all we tried to do today. You ran into a little bit of trouble in that second inning, runners on second and third, one out. What's your thought process there? How do you settle in and get out of that inning? Just get the guy at the plate out. Um, if, if if they score, if if he hits a sack fly or he hits a ground ball and they score this run, who cares? Continue to move forward and and, and just I, I think shut the inning down um, and, and limit the damage. Uh, and you know, fortunately, it worked out where I was able to get a strikeout in the ground ball. But I think uh, I think if that runner from third scores and you get the guy at the plate out, so be it. Get the next guy out and give up one run and and, and get off the field and. Give your guys a chance. Um, not kind of letting it, you know, snowball into a big thing is is something that um, you know I, I need to get better at, and I did it. I did it two innings tonight. Does, he, does their aggressiveness in that lineup, top to bottom, does that play pretty well for you in terms of what you're trying to do? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. You know, you know, swings and misses tonight too. Yeah, but my curveball was good, and and um, it was. It had, it had it had depth on it um, tonight, which which was which was which was good for me. What does one start like this do for you for going in the break and feeling like I'm coming off a very good start, forgetting about those those two last uh, previous ones? No, uh, it's it's like you said, it's one start. It's it's something. Um, you know, I, I I told you yesterday I felt good coming into it. I feel even better coming out of it, and. Um, it's it's one start to build on, and uh, it's you know hopefully, hopefully can continue to, you know down, down this path. So really good start last time around before the All Star break for Sonny Gray, and the mentality probably has to be or somebody has to get in his ear and say, look, let the second half of 2018 define your season. Let it be what people remember you for, not what happened in the first half. You sound like Joe Torre. That's what he used to say to his players when they had struggled and maybe hadn't put up the numbers that they wanted to by the All-Star break or by August or September. You still have a chance to have a big impact on your own season. I think it's great from a Yankee perspective that Sonny Gray heads into the All-Star break with this as his final start. He can feel as if he is this pitcher, not the pitcher who had struggled to an ERA of almost six. He's got to do it again, though, Bob, again and and again, that's what the Yankees want to see. I think it's very important that he acknowledged to Meredith and the other reporters that, yes, he did streamline things tonight. It was evident. We talked about it. He threw 90 pitches. 84 of them were either curveballs or two-seam fastballs. If you have that kind of movement on your pitches, you can get by with that. I think the Yankees almost took a few of his toys away tonight and said, work with these toys. Use these ones. You can succeed. And that's what he did.